afternoon and welcome to The Developer Show, a show where we showcase upcoming developments, talk investments, and show you how you can find yourself in the latest offering for Galencia Estate, and that is Palm View. As you've seen, we've decided to do something different with you guys here today. And what we've decided to do is take you along with us to show you these different developments and show you how you can find yourself lounging in the pool, standing in front of the fountain and enjoying some of the offerings Galencia is bringing to the table today. Also, ladies and gentlemen, while we're standing outside here, you can see just how much attention to detail Galencia has brought when it comes to the security, when it comes to the electric fence, when it comes to the wrought iron gate, Galencia has spared no expense to make sure that when you do live in this development, you feel comfortable and you feel secure. So let's head on in, let's speak to some of the guys that are involved with Galencia, and let's talk a little bit more about something that might be your next home. And gentlemen, as you can see, as soon as you come through the gating, it is still boomed off. You're right next to your security guard. There's no expense that's been spared, as I've mentioned before. You really are going to feel comfortable. You're going to feel secure. There are people here that are out to look after you and look after your family. Ladies and gentlemen, we are, jump we are joined in by Mr. Martin playing one of the sales executives here. We are trying to keep uh, our social distancing and uh, adhere to all of the safety protocols. So we've thrown a mask on each. Unfortunately, yeah. I don't have the nice <laughs> branded one, but I'm definitely going to get myself one of those. You have to. Martin, thank yeah. you so much for taking some time out to join us. I really appreciate it. What I'd like to start off with is a question I start off with all the times whenever I've been doing the development show, and that is, tell us a bit about yourself. Tell us about Galencia and tell us what a client can expect if they decide to go down this journey with you. Okay, so yeah, I'm Martin Klein. Um, I've been with the company since July. Um, I came out of aviation before this. Um, what the people can expect with Galencia, we've been in South Africa for the, for the past 19 years. Um, with a new development with Palm View, um, clients can expect luxurious um, apartments, modern furnishes, um, spacious rooms, and then also the landscaping is very fantastic as well. Um, yeah. You know, it's been a pleasure doing this in person instead of our usual Zoom call. The Zoom because call, yeah. you really do get a feel, now that I'm standing here, just how nice and peaceful and serene the area is. We've got a beautiful fountain behind us. So, Palm View, latest development. How yeah. many units are, can we expect in here? In total, there's 189 units, um, which is 27 blocks. So, we have one bed, one bath, two bed, two bath, and then three bed, two bath as well. Okay, so you've definitely yeah. covered all your bases and amenities. So, if I decide to purchase in here, yeah. I mean, the houses are beautiful. I have seen the houses. You guys are definitely going to be able to see those houses as well. If I decide to purchase in here, what amenities are available to me? For the amenities, okay, so we have the clubhouse. Um, the clubhouse comes with a kitchen and a boardroom. It comes with a key display area as well as with a, with a swimming pool as well. In the space. And you can book that clubhouse. So if I'm you having can, a function yeah. here, if I'm having a birthday, I'm allowed to book the clubhouse. You can book it out for the whole day and then probably be out for about, around about 10 or 11 o'clock. Beautiful. Yeah. Now, another thing I wanted to ask you is, is before we look at the units, let's talk price. What kind of pricing can I expect? Okay, so the unit starts off at, for the one bed, one bath, starts at triple nine, so just below a million. Um, two bed, two bath will start at 1.660, and then your three bed, two bath starts at 1.850. That is so almost a perfect segue to run right into the <laughs> units. But before we do yeah. that, I wanted to touch on location. We're in the heart of four ways. Yes. Talk to me about why this location and what this location is going to offer different people who are going to move in here. Okay, so um, what Galencia does is we try to get the in the heart, like you said, in the heart of our hallways. Um, so everything is close by. We have um, Monte Cassino close by, we have Leaping Frog, we have Cedar Square. So everything is within the area, so about 10 minutes away from the highways as well. Um, so everything is like it's a very lively neighborhood as well. So we try and keep everything within, within the area or 10, 10 kilometers radius. Well, on that note, I think it's time to take a look at the units. at one of their two bedroom, two bathroom offerings. Let's take a look. So outside a really nice feature that I've found is they've actually placed the geezer and the gas outside of the unit. So you never need to worry about a geezer burst, you never need to worry about a gas leak. 
It's placed outside the unit, completely safe, and there are two lockable doors, which is really nice to know. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen, unit number one. The door that I've seen that do, they've done something different with is that they actually put skirting around the door, which looks really nice, looks really unique, and also it does look luxurious, like Marta had mentioned. Really story door, really nice lock. Come on in. The kitchen immediately, you can see they've taken a lot of time and they've paid a lot of attention to detail. We've got some beautiful Caesar stone countertops. The water doesn't come with the house. When you purchase a house here, you're going to get a bottle of champagne, you're going to get some balloons, they're going to make it feel like an occasion. But as I mentioned, they've got beautiful Caesar stone countertops. They've got soft closing doors. You don't need to worry about the slam when you're cooking, when you're getting ready, when you're getting your Jamie Oliver on. We've all done it. We've opened a door, a drawer, and slammed it closed. You don't need to worry about it. They have thought of that. Another thing that they've thought of, and this does come standard, ladies and gentlemen, you don't need to option this in, it's included in the price, is this right here. Guess where the fridge is? Built in fridge, right there, hidden away. So you don't need to worry about anything unsightly, spoiling the attention to detail they've paid here. Again, you've got a double basin, really big, really easy, nice to know. Space for an appliance, but not just one appliance, two appliances. Here is your dishwasher. Also, hidden away, you don't need to worry about it. As we carry on, four top stove burner. And another thing that really speaks volumes about the attention to detail they've paid is these are your holders for your spice trays, for your serving spoons. And not only can you move them around, you can also take them right off. Take them outside to where you're going to have a brine, but we'll be talking about the garden area in just a bit. Let me put this down. Another thing I do want to show you is this is your extractor. It turns on immediately when you pull it out, and when you put it back in, it turns off. Comes with a light, there's a switch here and a switch there that controls speeds as well. It's all thought of. It's a really cool attention to detail, and I must admit, I love it. Let's move on to the lounge suite. Now, the wall color is not standard, but it does showcase you just how nice and just how much time you can put into making this your home. Here we go, massive lounge, especially for these types of units. Usually when you're purchasing units into these complexes, you need to worry about the size, and yeah, you don't. These are very, very spacious. You can easily fit one of your L-shaped couches in here. This is your wall unit. This again does not come standard, but it's here to give you an idea of what you can do in these units. Plenty of space as we've seen. Another feature I want to point out, if my cameraman's going to turn around, is to get a look at the beautiful chandeliers there in the kitchen. Absolutely stunning. Again, plenty of space, plenty of light. There's also something I've found, specifically when I'm looking for my own homes, that there's a lot of trouble finding homes that are bottom floor, ground floor, with light. And there's plenty of light in here. So a window here, here's your sliding doors to go to the garden area, which I'm very keen for you to see. Now immediately, you can see there's space here to sit down, enjoy yourself, enjoy the outdoors. You've got a storage cupboard here for a little bit more stuff that you don't want to bring indoors, you don't want to dirty your house. Let's take a look at the garden. Massive wrap around garden. As you can see, this is not something that comes standard with every single house. So it's very nice to see how Galencia has optimized their usage of space to make sure that they can give the ground floor units gardens like this. Let's take a look at how far this goes. Right over here is another feature I quite like. And that is, it's a space to put your laundry. It's not gonna dirty the garden, it's not gonna mess up your feng shui. You've got a little spot here, you can put your laundry, you can put some other stuff here that you'd like to store. Really nice to see the utilization of space. And here we go, the back side of the patio leads us straight into the master bedroom. A theme of plenty of space for your king's and your queen size beds and a bathroom ensuite. 
Now the bathroom, the first thing I want to mention is really solid door, beautiful. And another thing that you seem to pay attention to is the mirror. For everybody purchasing this as a couple, you know your wife or your girlfriend is going to love doing their makeup in a mirror like this. You've got a shower in and a walk-in shower, massive, beautiful, really nice, some storage in the back for your laundry bin and we're going to go and take a look at our second bedroom. Here we are, second bedroom, again, nice soft close cupboards. Another thing I wanted to point out is how much thought went into the plug positionings in your bedrooms. It's something you don't think of until you need it and you can see that there's a plug point here there's also two plug points on either side of the bed. So if you do want to put up your flat screen TV or watch some TV in bed on those rainy, stormy nights, you can. You've got plug points for your lamps. You don't need to worry about this. And once again, huge high ceilings, big, big bedrooms. And this is the second bedroom. So it's really nice to see that that's available. Let's take a look at the bathroom. Second bathroom comes again with the beautiful mirror that turns on. You've got a shower and you've got a bath. And what's really nice about the shower is it really is a special occasion when you can open your doors just like that. So it's really nice to see the thought that they put in there. Here we are with Lorato Janda. Lorato is also one of the sales executives for Galencia. And Lorato, I wanted to ask you, what is your favorite feature of this house? Favorite feature, Palm View. It's, I think it's everything. It's everything. The way they've done this development is absolutely spectacular. I think if I were to name a few, it would be the signature mirrors. Yeah, because I mean, makeup, facial. I even like the signature mirrors. Yeah, right? The cupboards, the appliances that they have fitted in the units, that's also something very unique. Not every development does do. So those are like my main, main ones. But everything is beautiful here. And those are also quite big selling points. When customers come to view and they see this, those are the things that captures their heart and makes them want to buy it. So if I want to purchase into here, when can I move in? When is this development ready? Is it ready currently? So we have phases that are available. We do have people already living in the estate that is phase one, phase two. Um, we are finishing phase three and four and phase five as well. So there's five phases in this development. And ideally they will be completed by February. Completed by February. Yes, but once we're done with the phase, people are able to move in. So there's still time. If you're out there and you're busy selling your house and you're looking for your next unit, there is still time. Contact Lorato. Lorato, the other thing I wanted to ask is for, for our viewers who are still on the wall and they're looking at this and like, this is absolutely stunning, uh -huh. but I want to take a look at some other freestanding houses. You know, maybe I still want to shop about. What are the pros of purchasing within the development, within this estate, within Palm View, over just purchasing a normal house on the side of the road and moving in there? With Palm View and probably purchasing with, um, with the development, I would always say it's more for security purposes. I mean, we've seen in videos trending of like house break-ins, it's more on the standalone home. So I think here you actually have much more security because there's neighbors and you also have um, a body corporate that governs the, the estate. So yeah, in those, I would say that actually is one of the pros of buying within a, within a development. I've also noticed CCTV around here. Yes, so we have CCTVs around and we have 24 hour security, boundary walls, um, more on the security side. So there's very intense security. So no reason to even lock your door, CCTV. Yes. Another thing I wanted to ask you is from an investment perspective, what makes this a good investment? Because when you're purchasing, I think a lot of people, especially the newer generation, is starting to look at houses as in, hey, this is a nice place I want to live. Yes. But what happens in 10, 15 years time when I sell? Am I going to be stuck with something that's going to be difficult to sell? So from an investment point of view, how is this looking? Okay, first of all, I think, let me just say, um, investing with property is one of the best investments um, that anyone can look into, rather than investing your money on shares or anything like that, which could obviously go up and down any time. But with property, I mean, you are secured in, in putting your money in the side. So with this development, it is in Fawet and it's closer to Lanseria. Lanseria is going to be an international airport. So a lot of people are going to be moving this side. So investing here and probably in 10, 15 years time, your property sorry, would have doubled by, by then. Mm. You know, you mentioned that Lanseria Airport and I think it's so crucial actually because a lot of people might forget or not even know that with 
The four is more remodeling with Lanceria about to become an international airport with Spain City just up the road. I think any property you purchase in four ways is going to be a good investment because everything is going to double in value. We, we've heard so many times, we've read yes. people saying this is going to be the next Santa. Four, to, uh, four ways is going to be the next uh, central business district. Yes. So really it's so nice to see that Galencia is not only being able to put an estate in four ways because land is at a premium, put it at such an affordable price and make it so big. How did you guys manage to make these units so large? Okay, so in previous developments that we, we did, we used to kind of make the spaces smaller and have more units. But with Palm View, it was a little bit of a different approach. We decided on having only 189 units in this development. So that's something very unique. And also we've given more space inside the homes, outside the homes. So people don't feel like they need to leave their homes just to get air. At least you have the air inside and outside your home. I mean, I'm absolutely loving sitting on the veranda here, the porch, the stoop, know, and just right? enjoying the sunshine, enjoying the breeze. No, it's stunning in here. Another question I wanted to ask is for first-time buyers. You've told me it's a bit of a passion of yours, you know, helping these first-time buyers achieve their dreams. What advice would you give them? If there's one piece of advice, or even two if you've got more, what advice would you give first-time buyers who are looking to purchase into property? Okay. So, one, the first advice is that if you have um, a good credit history, Let's talk. Um, we always are open for consultation. We do require a 20,000 Rand deposit, which is refundable to um, whoever would have bought the home. We would take you through a process of obviously um, applying for your bond. We have a specific bonds department that will do that for the people. So we would coach people from the beginning to the end of the process. So no need to worry for a first time buyer. I know people sometimes want to buy without getting the proper consultation. So we would take them through that even guide them through the whole process of purchasing and even with the, with the handover of the, of the home. It's really nice to see the amount of effort Galencia puts into dealing with their clients and making sure they're comfortable throughout the process because a lot of people are scared of getting into that situation. Yes. We have now put down offer to purchase and as soon as everything's signed and sealed, you don't really hear from your, your estate agent or your realtor. They're not really interested in taking you further or even, they're not really even interested in helping you achieve the dream yes. and making sure you're comfortable in that. So it's really nice to hear the amount of effort collection puts into it. Yeah, we, we definitely go all out. Um, we believe in um, keeping good relationships. It's actually one of our taglines. Say good people with good people, good business with good, good business. You know, it's very nice to hear that you do that because you made some time for us today to come. You put the show house on pause so that we can do this and show the different clients who jump onto private property, what they can get into if they go down this road with Glencia. And that leads me to my last question. Before we cut and take a greater view of this estate, and that is you've got a relation with private property. You've had it for quite some time now. How has it helped your marketing? How has it helped? I don't think we would be selling out as much as we are without private property, honestly speaking. Um, even with this development, as much as we are still busy with the phases, but we're almost almost sold out. So that's how much private property has been help, uh, a lot of help to us. So yeah. Right, I love hearing that and I hope we continue to have you sold out. I know that you obviously now finishing up with this development. Yes. What other developments has Galatia got in place? Okay, so we have um, plans to develop early next year in Midrand. Uh, we will have this. Beautiful, beautiful, probably Palm View um, standard, if not better, um, in Midrand. And we also have uh, plans to develop in Cape Town, Durban, and um, Pretoria. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Galencia knows exactly what they're doing. 14 developments previously. This is now coming into their 15th and 16th, as Lorato mentioned. Guys, let's take a look around Palm View, explore with us, and we hope to see you next time on the Developer Show. Lorato, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I can't Jay. wait to see the other ones. All right, let me show you around then. Everyone at home, thank you and goodbye. Bye.
Thank you.